Burnham Docks is the busiest stockyard on the island of Sodor. Every day, ships and cargo arrive to be loaded and unloaded by Cranky the Crane. Work can get pretty hectic with trucks scattered everywhere waiting to be shunted. So Tom Hat often sends tank engines to the docks to arrange them. One morning, a new diesel ride on the island. His name was Salty. Thomas, Percy, meet Salty. He's here to help Bill, Ben and Boko at the clay pits. Hello, Salty. Welcome to Sodo. Greetings, me hearties. Nahar. All right, Salty. Off you go. Thomas, Percy, back to work now. These trucks won't shunt themselves. Yes, yes sir. sir. I, I'm a dockyard diesel. I should be back at the docks by the sea. Ah, well. Ahoy, mateys! Salty, pride of the seven seas. I'm a new diesel and I'm here to give you some help. Look, Ben, another diesel. We already have Boko. Why do we need another diesel? Don't be so rude, you two. Welcome to the clay pit, Salty. I'm Boko, and this is Bill and Ben. Pleased to meet you, me hearties. Now, where do I start? <laughs> Bogo told Salty there are some trucks that need to be filled and taken to the docks by tea time. He won't last five minutes. Those trucks will trip him up soon enough. But to Bill and Ben's surprise, the trucks seem to give Salty no hassle at all. Oh, and a har har har, the tiddler spins. And a you ha ho, and the ho. Fucking what, Desto? With a yo ho ho, and a har har har, the tiddler spins. And a you har ho and a he who har the bucket flies. Yo ho ho and a bucket of prawns the tiddler spins. Sang Salty. And the captain yawns. <laughs> Sang the trucks. Almost done, mateys. Yahar. Well done, Salty. You too could learn a thing or two from that diesel. Show off. And done. Har. <laughs> All right, Salty, now you can take them to Brendam Docks. Ah, uh, yes, the docks reminds me of the sea. Ah, look who's back. Ahoy, Cranky! Salty saw many trucks scattered across the docks. Aye, Cranky, who be shunting them trucks about? I don't know. Thomas and Percy left a while ago with some trains for Vickerstown. I'm sure they'll be back soon to take care of them. Salty thought for a moment. Arg, why don't I take care of them? I dealt with loads of trucks back at the clay pits earlier. Salty's driver spoke to the dock manager, and Salty got to work. With a yo ho ho and a har har har, the tiddler spins. How are you so good with trucks? I like to work to a musical rhythm, Cranky. <laughs> Said Salty. Same with the trucks. Later, Strum had arrived to the docks on Percy to speak with the dock manager. He saw Salty working and was impressed. Hello, Salty. What are you doing here? Apologies, sir. I came with a train of China clay earlier and decided to stick around for a bit and help out, since no other engines were here. Well, Salty, you have certainly done a fantastic job. You are a really useful engine. Aye, thank you, sir. I should probably be heading back to the clay pits now. But there's a ship due in a few minutes, and there's still no engines here. Tell you what, Salty, how about you stay at the docks permanently as a dockyard diesel? This place could certainly use an engine like you around. You really mean it? Oh, thank you, sir. Hmm. 
Now Salty works happily at the docks. He loves the fresh sea air and the sound of hustle and bustle. He gets along well with Cranky. Salty gets more work done than any three engines and feels really useful. And only the trucks know his secret. You are going to he who are the bucket flies. Yo ho ho in a bucket of bronze the tiller spins. And the captain yawns! <laughs>